Looks like we're heading out together this time, huh? I'm glad we made it this far. At the end of the day, surviving is what matters in this line of work. I think I've got to be extra careful. I don't know what my mom and sister would do if I... Well, never mind. Oh, hey, um, on the down low? Do you know Sakuya? Yeah? Are you close? Isn't she just smoking hot? And not just hot, but kind. And sweet. And hot! Well, she's like a freaking Amazon warrior maiden. Damn, she's so fine. Even just thinking about her has got me all hyped for another mission. How about a little contest? Let's see which of us takes down the most origami. Oh, she'll be all over me then. Yeah. Your primary target today is called a Congo, a medium-sized origami with devastating power. It won't just deal out punishment, but it can also take a beating before it goes down. It's the strongest enemy you've faced. Make sure you've brought supplies and be careful to use them intelligently. Come home safe. Time to get busy, baby! Yeah!
the good stuff for later. All zombies activate. Stay on your toes. Come on. Alpha One, you're in danger. Please disengage and grab some cover. So, this fight is taking a turn for the much, much worse. <laughs> This is the start of a long series of incredibly easy adventures. Well, that's, uh, that's it. Yeah. Are we gonna head back soon? I'm on the season finale of Boogerally and it is so good! I know the moment I go looking for stuff, the chopper's gonna arrive. That's just how it works. Let's begin with a concept, Arcology. In essence, a building completely self-contained. But that's not all. Self-sufficient as well, both in production and consumption therein. Of course, the best example is here. The Fenrir Far East branch, with the den at its core, is an Arcology. In any situation, no matter how extreme, we could survive alone, even should all the remaining Fenrir structures collapse. Our status as an arcology would ensure that we could live on just as before. Still eat, work, and fight, all based on our own production. Beneath the den is a fully equipped plant that produces food, god arcs, and any needed material for the people of the branch. Atop all that, we are supremely defended. An anti-aragami wall lines the perimeter, and we boast the strongest god eaters squadrons. That, in a nutshell, is the Far East a powerful and complex arcology optimized solely for the protection of humankind. Unfortunately, we are still plagued by a number of issues. Foremost among them is that we simply cannot house all our citizens. I am certain you've seen the vast outer ghetto, a collection of ramshackle housing that lies just beyond the core of the branch. We would love to have those people inside, but the fact is, we simply don't have the room to accommodate. I'm afraid that the best we can do now is surround that ghetto with a larger anti-aragami wall. Options are limited. I don't know if that's enough. The armor's been breached a whole lot lately. Never bad, but still. Which is precisely why we have the defense unit stationed there, our strongest shield. 
Oh, goodness me. You were born in the outer ghetto, weren't you, Coda? My apologies. I did not mean to dismiss your fear so lightly. Oh, no. It's not a problem. Actually, there was a plan to expand the interior of the den. We were going to build another layer down for new residents. But it never came through. The Aegis Project picked up. And that's supposed to make us all much safer anyways. Well, yes, exactly. At this time, a massive majority of Far East resources and the underground plants are being dedicated to helping construct the Aegis. But I think that should be a topic for another time. 